Okay, so we are out of speed. Inside there got nice cars, but this is car spotting. We're not gonna be looking at the cars inside. We're just gonna see what's up in the parking lot. So yeah, we are transition after this. Okay, so uh, this one right here coming up on the road is a Subaru Brat. It's a Subaru pickup truck. And also another, it's pretty rare here. But this is not the only Subaru Brat that's on this the parking lot of Out of Speed. There's another one more actually around the corner. Let me, let's just head a little bit faster there. Right. So yeah, that's, see right there, that's another Yet another Subaru Brat. So there's got this. This is second one at a parking lot here, and this is a little bit more workhorse oriented. I mean, just just look at that. Look at this tailgate. It's about to come off. It's so rusty, and I think this this car still even interior. Look at it. It's just so worn out. So worn out. So tired. So the the, the Subaru Brat is actually based on a. Subaru Leon platform. I think it's a first gen, second gen, first, first or second gen Leon. Uh, unlike the ones in the States, the brats that are available in Malaysia, and most of them, I think they were imported. They, they didn't bring in new. They don't have jump seats at the back. We don't have any chicken tax laws here. So yeah, so we have like a more ample space at the back. Yeah. You just take a look at the inside there. See that all-wheel drive? All you have to do is just lift it up and you are in all-wheel drive mode. Really cool car. This apparently I think owned by a vendor. Okay, what we have here is a Corolla. Is this? Yeah, I, when I first saw it, I thought it was a Sprinter. But maybe it's a Sprinter with a Corolla grille? Or it could be a Corolla with a Sprinter badge at the back. You know, Sprinter GT badge at the back. Third gen Corolla, so this is the TE K30 Corolla. Yeah, you see that Sprinter badge right there? The Corolla and the Sprinter, they both are basically, they're the same cars. Only difference between both is, one is supposedly the more smaller, sportier model, and the other one is just like the standard one you see on the road. You could say that the Sprinter is like the JDM version of the Corolla, but they do sell the Corolla alongside the Sprinter in Japan. But yeah, this one is looking very nice, a nice shade of green and rocking those Watanabe wheels. Yep. See, even the cars outside here in out of speed are as special as the cars inside. Okay, here you see like row of Porsches. It's a Cayman common car, but this one 930 looks really nice in red. It's got the Fuchs wheels as well, those five spoke tires, beautiful. Everything looks very stock inside. Yep, naturally stock. Sit rocking manual. I don't know why it's the major concern here. Yeah, yep, it's holding. Yep, it has a manual. It's a manual and transmission inside there. It looks very, very clean. Classic. It's a Carrera model, not the turbo model, but still, this thing looks so much cool up close. Then right next to it is this another 911. Probably, I think it might be a GT3 RS. What's that one? White one. It is a GT3 R. Both. Maybe the black one could be a GT3 R or it could just be a normal 911, 997 to be precise. With all the body kits of a GT3. This one says Porsche Turbo. But I can I can tell that this is a legit GT3R compared to like the black one. But yeah sure all all three are cool but this one this look at the matte paint on the rims. Real cool. Really cool. And if you look on next to the Porsches they were all Japanese cars. 
And this one here is a K K30 K30 Corolla K30 Corolla so coupe as well and then right here it's an Integra it's a second generation Integra those wheels those wheels really really look cool so I'm gonna say well racing forge USA they look like minigun bullets in fact and the green on this looks really nice and then next to it is another another green to be precise a teal EG Civic nice color on this really old school 90s classic then if you just, just just see inside it's like this green one is an automatic it's still it's rare to find one of these in Malaysia that look this clean most of them will be modified they'll be putting like big spoilers extra extra body kit at the bottom but this one looks clean and the same goes for this Civic as well this EG Civic not only the color is great but the sticker it's period correct everything is all period correct actually it's so 90s it's a removable steering wheel if you can see yeah really really cool car and next to it another couple of old Japanese cars okay this one this is a really rare treat it's a A70 Sprinter Toyota A70 Sprinter it looks like a K70 Corolla because they both actually share the same thing same, same platform, same design, just a little bit of changes on the grill. Yeah, you can see it's already written right there by itself. Sprinter A70, and yes, this is indeed a Sprinter. The one thing I really like is like the doors, it's a, it's a hard top model, so pillarless doors. Hard top model. This is really, really rare. Saba Plate 2. back it looks like a Corolla looks like an ace looks like a K70 Corolla but much 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 cooler okay for this one it's a Honda City and it's probably not the turbo city it's just a regular Honda City but look at how look at how aged it is it's not as clean as the one is inside it's a very rare car and these are considered K cars in Japan. Yeah, look at it. It's so it's so dirty. It's not as this small car is like very it has very 80s style in it. Maybe a little bit of touch up on the paint. It should look nice, but I I kind of dig this very old workhorse style of looks looks really it's really cool to see one up close i mean there is one in our speed as well but that one is like very clean this one is so dirty and so natural broken tail i mean even the number plate is not complete there's rust all over could be a design aesthetic could be some kind of uh, it could be an aesthetic but yeah so this one is a toyota starlet gt it's from the late 90s it's toyota's hot hatch competing with the nissan march basically but the march is a little bit bigger but uh malay starts the night now gt yeah starlet gt and l plate that means this is actually registered in lab one at that time or maybe it is the number plate is basically from lab one itself it's so red interior is so red but everything is period correct even the tires they're period correct the modifications they aren't much but and again this is another this is quite rare because most of the starlets that you see in malaysia they're not from this generation there are a couple inside there they're in the out of speed but they're the older model the generation before this particular gt model so yeah Okay, for the last car of the day for out of speed i mean the weather outside here is really really fucking hot like you can't you can probably cook an egg here is this honda civic right here uh it's the first gen civic 
and look at how tiny it is compared to the city. I mean, this was a family car back then. It was not an entry car. It's a family car. And yeah, it's very hard to find a clean one these days. Still, nevertheless, find a, like a Civic first gen. This is how they usually treat them these days. They modify them, they tune them, give them a little bit of an extra oomph of their life. Yeah, but um, it, it, this car can definitely fit right in uh, out of speeds, the hall there. And yeah, this is not a JDM model, it is a, an import model. You can tell it by, even though it has like fender mirrors, you can tell the side there. It still has the side mirror, whatever left of the side mirror. Yeah, so anyway, this is the last video, last car for today. So hopefully next year when we come to Arrow Speed or if, if there's any more other cars to spot, maybe you can check us out, like this video and all that bullshit, whatever. Yeah, see you next time for more car spotting. This is all we drive and we are, that's it for Arrow Speed 2019.